I'm speechless. I, I, I actually am speechless. This is so beautiful. It's just so epic. This, this, Real Madrid fans make this, they really do make this so, so, so epic. And I just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm losing it here, guys. This is dope. What is going on, guys? It is JJ here, back with another video. Finally got my, well, I say, I say, I finally got my voice back. But today, we're going to take a look at two teams I guess I never really thought of having ultra sections, but realistically, it was very, very blatantly obvious. They are two of the most followed clubs in the world. Two of the most popular clubs, two of the most profitable clubs, two of the most successful clubs. We're going to take a look at, without Classico coming up this weekend and Real Madrid playing later today, the Ultras of Real Madrid versus the Ultras of Barcelona. Now, this is one of those where I'm kind of excited to take a look at it because I know they're going to be in the streets, they're going to be in the stadiums, they're going to be chanting. It's going to be everything. It's, it's going to be an entire huge atmosphere. So, obviously, uh, you guys got to let me know your thoughts on it. Maybe let me know what they're saying as well. My Spanish is kind of iffy. I can pick up on some stuff. Some stuff I'm not too hot at. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. I love all the retro jerseys for the, for the Barcelona Ultras. Oh my lord, there's so many of them. What is going on here? This this is just chaos. This looks like just complete chaos. It looks like there's so, it sounds like there's so, so many of the Ultras from Barcelona. Uh, also, if you guys could tell me nicknames, I know that the Real Madrid Ultras are called Ultras Sir. I don't know what the Barcelona Ultras are called. Uh, my, I guess it's just Ultras Barcelona, but. There are so many people. Are these the same ultra? No, these, these, are, these are what we were waiting for. Oh no, this is still the Barcelona fans. Oh. Boitzel's noise. Is this like what that group is called? They're not very organized. That's my only issue. There's a lot of people walking in front of what would be the huge section of the Barcelona fans. They're so loud though. I love it. I absolutely love it. In the stadiums right there, the new camp. Oh, I love that. They marched on the new camp. No board sauce, no party. This is just chaos. This is literally just pure chaos. Barcelona fans everywhere just going absolutely crazy in these sections.
The view from behind is even better. <laughs> y la ropa, la muerta. What did it say? I love that. <laughs> the teams come to die in the Champions League against Real Madrid. Well, exactly what we're gonna get today, baby. Let's see. Let's see what Real Madrid's got today. This is gonna be exciting. Real Madrid, PSG. Uh, this was probably not a good time. What is it? This was out last year where they lost to Ajax in the quarterfinals. Yikes. Oh, so they lost to Ajax in round 16. Yeah, shoot. The, these T-Pos are sick, though. I did not even realize that they were making a T-Po. Those are all things. See, I thought these were like clear roadways. Those are trees blocking all the fans that are down there. Okay, Real Madrid fans go to the next level. Barcelona fans were maybe louder, but... Ultra Sir, Ultra Sir are crazy. So sick. The flares and that like little like I don't know if it was like a volcano type of tifo, but essentially it just engulfed everything. And now all the Real Madrid fans are engulfing this center square in flares. This is this is next level. This is some next level. This reminds me of the Ajax and Trotos, except going. Madridistas. Where's that? Madris. Madrisimo? Oh, I'm speechless. Oh, I actually am speechless. This is so beautiful. It's just so epic. This, this, Real Madrid fans make this, they really do make this so, so, so epic. And I just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm losing it here, guys. This is dope. Okay. So see the picture that we have on here now, and we're gonna go back to where it started. Like that progression is unbelievable. So it's like a little volcano style thing that they rolled out, the people that they rolled out, and slowly but surely, the smoke gets involved. And then, and then, we get one, we get one player. The smoke still going. We get multiple flares, we get flares everywhere. And then it continues to go, and it goes, and it goes, and the Real Madrid fans are chanting all the way through it. Like, that's so amazing. That is amazing. And it's engulfed everything, much like a volcano with hot lava wood. That, that's beautiful. I am speechless. This is glorious. And this is on the ground as well. Okay, yeah, Ultras Real Madrid might actually be, be much, much better than Ultras Barcelona. I, I need I need some evidence, because this is this is damning in favor of Real Madrid. These fans are nuts. And then in the stadium. I mean, when they had Cristiano, it was probably a completely different story.
camera can't even catch up. It's, it's just a mayhem. We need to see more videos. I need to see more videos about the Ultras from Real Madrid because they go next, next level. I, I, is it Ultra Sur or, or Ultra Sur? Ultra Sur? I, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't quite know. Please, 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 if you're a fan of Real Madrid, if you've ever been in the Enchadas, in, inside, you know, the, these types of insane fan performances or insane fan group ups, the Ultras fan group ups for Real Madrid beforehand, let me know what it's like down in the comments below. Let me know everything about it down in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, uh, leave me your video suggestions, your comments, everything. If you guys would like to see another one of these, please definitely smash that like button. Thank you guys once again, and peace.